Where is Hooter? Hooter Bailey? Huh? Yeah. 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 Everybody yeah. needs more money. You can be outside yeah, that way. Yeah, yeah. oh, 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 oh,
Everybody had a chance, have a chance to look over the minutes for August and September. Yeah, yes, I do. I move to approve this presented for his poetry. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any discussion? Oh, it's good. Can you tell me who the most second out of them? Bruce and I second. I didn't talk. Yes, I, I moved and got second. Okay. Good afternoon, Council. Hello. Good morning. Afternoon. Morning, too. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, if I may, I'm here to request the Council's blessing, permission. I submitted a request for proposal to the County Commissioners, which was approved this month on October 2nd. It's to uh, utilize $50,000 of the restricted funds from the op opioid settlement we have for calendar year 2024. This would allow us at Cork Services to continue with the uh, utilization of our evidence-based treatment services of Mr. Tim Gearhart. Mr. Gearhart is a licensed clinical social worker and he has an associate that assists him with jail assessments. Mr. Gearhart provides counseling services to justice involved individuals with substance use disorders and mental health conditions, which are under community supervision, specifically probation and community corrections. I believe you should have three attachments. Uh, one would be the first attachment, I believe, is an annual rate of $48,099, a proposed rate. That would be for the utilization of Mr. Gearhart at seven hours, I'm sorry, eight hours a day as well as six hours like on call for weekly good. gel assessments. The second attachment, you should have an invoice from Gearhart LLC. Uh, that's just a basic invoice, what they look like. So we're transparent on what he charges per hour. And that's his current rate. And he works for us four hours a day, one day a week right now. And the third attachment is just an outline of the, uh, where it starts with number five at the top. Providing evidence informed treatment, including Medicaid assistance, treatment, recovery, support, harm reduction services. That's just the guidelines of the JRAC. I'm sorry, not the JRAC, the opioid funding in terms of restricted funds. And restricted being it has to be some kind of treatment services. And that's all that I'm asking for with this. So we can continue that relationship with Mr. Gearhart, continue with those evidence based treatment services to the folks that need it the most that are under. Community supervision. So this is based on a seven seven hour day, one a week. Is that kind of how it's well currently, yes, sir, Mr. Black. Currently he's working four hours a day, but the proposal would be for an eight hour day. I actually stated seven. I apologize. He did put in this proposal. It would be eight hours of weekly office therapy. Plus, it includes six hours of weekly on call gel assessments as well, too. That, that would cover as well. So, and that would give us a full day with the services of Mr. Gearhart in house. Right now, we currently have Mr. Gearhart and his associate for a four hour day. Okay. And what are they, what are they charged for with the four hour day? Uh, still the same rate, six to six dollars. Okay. Oh, I see. So, yeah. this, we're going to get it more. Right. This would give us the utilization of his services for one additional day. The referral from Mr. Gearhart has drastically increased. It's a wonderful intervention we have. 
Uh, folks on community supervision do tend to violate the conditions of that. Specifically, what we see, eight out of 10 violations are related to substance use, continued substance use uh, while under supervision, which of course is not uh, acceptable behavior, but we have to find a, some kind of therapeutic intervention besides the sanction that we impose, and, and Mr. Gearhart's a tremendous part of that. And he's been with you a long time doing this stuff. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Second year. So we're spending 20, 24 money now. Is that no, sir, he's not being funded by anything, right? He, I, I believe his funding is not from the county general at all at this point in time. Okay, well, yeah. I, I understand, but the, the money that you want is actually in the 24 budget. Well, yes, sir, that's what we're requesting right. out of the open. I understand, funding and, yes. and that's not going to put you in financial trouble in 24. It shouldn't, if I understand you correctly. Uh, we're requesting that the opioid settlement okay. fund be it's all very restricted. Yes, yes. right. No, okay. okay. Oh no, I appreciate the question. Thank See, you. He's uh, asking for money before he needs it. Right. Yeah. Is that yeah. uh, well? <laughs> KK. K. K. Not a protocol. Fix the good K. My KK, can you hear me, that, sir? Uh, <laughs> all right. Okay. I'll make a motion that we honor his request for $2,000 out of the opioid, opioid funds for Mr. Gerard and Associates Services. But real quick, just before, so is it something continuing? I mean, we have so much money for opioid money. Is it something you're going to come to us every year for? Yes, sir, Mr. Black. It's, it's something every year. It's Correct. As long as we can uh, entertain the services of Mr. Gerhardt, because it's really having a, a significant impact on our offenders under community supervision. I understand. Okay. I just curious, you know, funding yes, for us, you know, we're gonna have to somewhere have to do it because you used to take care of it, right? Or is it something we've always taken? Care well, of? we've we've taken care of it internally in house. We've been able to utilize some of our funding through like other grants, sim grants, and things like that that are coming to a conclusion. And uh, we have seen just such a need. We can't fund mm -hmm. through community corrections funding money only. Uh, the DOC has gotten very restricted in terms of their funding and resources, and have made it extremely difficult for that. And the DOC is the one that actually suggests that we utilize some of the opioid uh, money, you know, generated at each county. So, well, I just, I just, the only reason I asked for this, trying to keep uh, a lot of money going out right now in a time right. where, you know, inflation's so high, we just got to be careful with everything. Absolutely. So I just I understand. Be clear that this is something that we will potentially fund every single year. Yes, sir. Now, because you guys can no longer right. do it in house. Because they, they, there was something passed, right, where you guys can no longer collect certain, fund, collect right. certain funds to pay. That's with our pre-trial. We can utilize funding from project income for services and things of that nature, but the amount of money that we're requesting, we could not generate that on our own. To pay for that I didn't mean to service. stop you. So, I just want to make sure we're clear on, on this. That this could be something. Are you seconding that? Well, I mean, I suppose so. I believe you have to have it. So, I just want to be clear that this would be just a one-time one -time deal. So, okay. All right. Any discussion further? I think I'm sorry for y'all, but I think Mr. Chairman trying to call y'all. Oh, do it or <laughs> for you. I apologize. Maybe he's, he's, he's not muted. He's not muted. You're not muted, Dave. Yeah, but I, I don't know why it's not he's working. Not it's something on your well, end. I mean, you're, you must be muted on your end, Dave. What's wrong? No, you? I'm not. I'm not. It's, yeah, it's not. It's not. I'm trying. Hey, uh, yeah. I'm not muted on my end. I, I've been on Zoom meetings all all night here. <laughs> like this is like my sixth well, okay. one. Okay, so, I don't know. We can't uh, hear you. I'll yeah. Well, well, although the only thing I was going to ask was, I, I know the council when they we saw this before. They had a question about. Well, let me let me put this one day a week. What's that? Let me put. Yeah, I actually asked that, but, but let me put you on speaker. Okay, hold on one sec. One sec. Just so they can hear you. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Mantra, I, 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 a few people had asked before. I just want to make sure that they ask now. The question was before, um, it seems like the contract says this is $50,000 for one day a week. Is it, But I think you just said, is it actually five days a week? Or like how often does this occur? No, my apologies, Mr. Chairman. It's for one full eight-hour day per week. And that would include also in the uh, proposal he gets paid or his associate, he has an associate that gets paid six hours a week to facilitate jail assessments as well. 
Now she may only do one or two assessments or she may do none, but she still gets paid for the contract for the gel assessment component as well. And it's one full day a week, uh, well, I'm sorry, one full day a week with Mr. Gearhart. So how many hours totally are we getting of work for 50,000 a year? You'll get eight hours a week from them, sir. Okay. Um, because, you know, I, one of the things was, is I think Jack Rosa recommended, I, I reached out to Mr. Gearhart about the health link grant, which also is geared towards this, but for a full-time person, he, he declined, but I can see now I would have declined too, if I could get this much money for that fewer hours, but I guess I didn't want to make sure um, in this kind of a scenario, I mean, $50,000 is a lot of money. I mean, is this something that all of these types of um, providers charge? Or, I mean, is this something that maybe we should have gotten quotes on or bids on? I guess I just want to make sure that we're getting the best bang for our buck here because 50 grand right. for eight hours a week. I mean, I'd love to get that kind of pay myself. And, mm -hmm. you know, I've got a, I've got a bachelor's degree in two majors. <laughs> you know, I don't make that kind of money. So just, you know, sure. I just want to make sure. Very legitimate question, and we've vetted this, done some research on it. We've attempted to fund. I, the key thing with Tim is that LCSW. He's got the licensed clinical social worker, and, and those folks make a lot of money. We attempted, before we got Tim Gearhart through the SIM grant a couple of years ago, to get one to, to furnish one through our own budget. We couldn't afford it uh, because what's so, what's so the, it's the, it's the, it's the LCSW that's the deal breaker right there that's why they're able to charge so much and most of them based on our understanding they're going to a private practice yeah well we through the health link grant and we've been working with two other counties they got um applications at each one from 12 different LCSWs that's just kind of what drew my attention to this and I guess uh -huh. I guess I guess if you do like what I, my question would be then is if the council does move forward with this does the contract afford us, like say for a month down the road, you do find somebody and you think you can get two days a week for 50,000 a year. Can we break the contract or are we dedicated to a year no matter what and we got to pay out because we've gotten caught on this on recently on other contracts where the fine print you know, didn't let us get out of it. So how's that structured? I think that's a fair question. And I think, with well, I, I would certainly need the assistance of a county attorney and Ms. Ostray on that. I don't think Tim Gearhart would be opposed to signing a contract like that. He's been very open and very transparent with it. I don't think there would be any issues moving forward, you know, if it's approved yeah, to make yeah. that a condition. I would just need the assistance of uh, the county attorney, Ms. Ostray, the developer, you know, facilitate such a contract. If that's and, and I think that would be the most prudent way. Like if he's willing to do that, I mean, shoot, I mean, because I'm with you. I don't know. I don't know what these people make either, but I just, it seems like a lot. I mean, you know, like, right. If, if he worked five days a week, that means it would be 250000 for a year. That seems like a lot for somebody that's a contractor. You know what I mean? Um, so, but but that said, I mean, if 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 we can modify the contract or I don't know, maybe the, the rest of the council disagrees. But if, if they do agree and if Justin can add a sentence that says, you know, if we if basically if we find a better deal that we're, you know, that we can consider that we don't automatically break the contract, but we can consider other options if we find a better deal. That being said, I'd like to resend my motion and I'd like to amend my motion. Well, let's hear it. I'm thinking about it. No. Okay, I, I will yeah, as I say, consult the attorney. And actually, it's, it seems like a lot, but when you look at $66 an hour for that, I don't, I don't really think it's that much, really. But regardless, um, I will make a motion. That we take the fifty thousand dollars out of the opioid funds for this, with the stipulation in the contract that we are not bound, we are not bound to a year term. If we, if the council or director thinks there's a better, a better deal, more hours with the same services, we would be able to break the contract and do that. Can you, can you guys wrap something else up in that motion? I I have to disclose it. Tim Gerhardt's my neighbor, and I've also done some work for him through his LLC before, so I have to disclose that conflict. Okay. I, I drafted a service contract form three years ago, but it is one time I use them. So I, I can do this contract for you. I just have to put in the contract. Both sides agree to waive it. And if there's a dispute, I represent you, not him. Okay. I'm sure Tim's fine with it. He's a good guy, but okay. I, I have to disclose that. All right. Can you hear me, Dave? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Go ahead. I'm sorry, I thought you said Dave. Yeah, I was I was just saying I'm talking about that as I'm shutting sure off. You, you can still hear the conversation. Okay. Second. We have a second. Second. Any discussion? Aye. 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 I'm sure. Sean is also up here for the grant funding request. Okay. So um, in 2020, 2021, it you we always re receive a grant from DOC to basically fund one of our probation officers. 2020 to 2021, that fund was over expended $6,355. Basically our fault for not managing that grant fund um, efficiently and also DOC's fault because they had a lot of um grants, they had a they have a lot had a lot of employees in and out, you know, going through a lot of different employees. So they didn't get a chance to audit it until just this year. So that very high turnover. Yeah, very, thank you. Yes, very high turnover. So Andrea uh, Feeney, hey. who audited this one this year, is directing me to pay $6,355.90 from County General to fund 8500 So I need approval for that from you. Explain that again. We always get a grant from the DOC to fund one of our probation officers. And which, what is he specializing? It's it's for Charles Phillips. He's a pre-trial probation officer. Gotcha. Yeah, I know Charles. Yes, sir. So um, we overexpended that fund by $3,964.31 in calendar year 20 and $1,485.01 in calendar year 21. So we have to pay $6,355.90 back to the DOC. Um, and I need your permission to. And if I'm out, sorry, my hands up, permission to speak <laughs> on what Rachel's saying as well, too. The DOC systematically has always sent invoices. Rachel can tell you this. They are very good about collecting their money. They're very good about making sure any unused funds are sent back to the state. Uh, for some reason, during this time period, we never got invoices. We never got invoices. So as Rachel had stated, there was some confusion on both ends because that was not the normal process. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to clarify that for the board. It wasn't a negligent act that we just weren't going to do it or Mr. Phillips was just going to carry it over and do what he wanted. But we have been conditioned because Community Corrections run, runs through a lot of grant funding with the DOC. And that's all we've been dealing with since we started. So we're quite familiar with that process. Whereas it's a new procedure, of course, for the jail treatment program and the probation pretrial treatment program as well, just to add to what Ms. Rachel has stated. Well, my only question is, if there was a grant for whatever the amount was, right? So how did the grant get overspent $6,355? So in at the end of 20, technically we should have got a DOC invoice for $3,964.31. Okay. Well, we never got it. So the they okay. spent that money. Okay. And, and uh, the next year the same mm -hmm. for fourteen eighty five. But yes. I mean, is it is it normal for every year for them to send us an invoice? Mm -hmm. Yes. If yeah. there's remaining funds that we need to pay back according to them, yes, they would. Mm -hmm. But okay. why 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 would if the grants for this this amount, and we've been through this with other departments, if you know the grant is this much, that's what it is. I mean, how did it get, how did we overspend the grant? Because that's obviously what happened. Isn't it three years in the process, though? It was three years of overspending because the invoices weren't set and then the account wasn't closed out. Because, yeah, great question. And I'm learning as we go along on this, too. And I appreciate Rachel for all her help. It's my understanding, too, that, that one account at the end of the year should have been closed out. Whatever's remaining, right, gets sent back. And that account's closed out and a new account should be opened up. Is the way I think that the DOC is explaining it, correct? Yes, but we've been we've been only using one fund for all mm -hmm. these years, and it kind of got into a jumbled mess of what was, you know, in in there for each year. So are you saying that because the we didn't receive invoices, we didn't spend out of that, 
that grant and we actually sent money back to the no we should have so at the end of calendar year 20 we should have gotten an invoice from the DOC saying for what we needed 3964. Yeah, for what we should what we would be paying them back. Okay. But we never did. And I think there's just not really many people to talk about at the DOC with this because they were kind of going through people. And we ended up um spending the money on probably my, my guess would be supplies or yeah, that, that's that's where I want to know where that, where that money went. Yeah. yeah, where that money went. So if it was if it was unspent, it wasn't sent back, what what would that money have been? How how could it have been? It got transferred to something else. It got spent on something else. It got spent on something else. I I, I understand what happened. I don't like it one bit. Right. Right. I mean, but I understand. And none of us do. No, I don't. To be honest, and, and it's an embarrassment almost to approach council with, with this kind of request, believe me. Well, it's in the future. If you haven't received an invoice from when the time it's appropriate, you feel you've received, haven't got an invoice, let's give them a call and see where the invoice is at. Without a doubt. See how much we owe. That's already been set in motion. Yes, sir. It's a great suggestion. Hopefully, this Andrea will be there for a while because I, I kind of like her and how she got it. So right. hopefully, she'll be there for a long time. Okay, so we need a motion to move $6,355.90 into from, from county general county to 8500 Yeah, to fund 8500 Somebody want to make that motion? I'll go ahead and make the motion. $6,355.90 uh, be moved. Um, from County General to fund 8500. So, the second? How about discussion? That's enough. I'm not done discussing. Are there strict guidelines on what that money is to be spent on? Absolutely. And so, if we're, if we're knowing that we're going to get invoiced, how here's, does it happen? Here's what I think happened. I think at the end of so every year we've had we have increases in salaries, which makes the social security go up, makes perk go up, makes uh, our health insurance goes up. I mean, unfortunately, we don't even know what our health insurance goes up until after the budget. Yeah, done I understand for that year. So I'm thinking that that money was rolled over, but really nothing is spent out of 8500 other than his salary, social security, perk, and health insurance. That is the only things that come out of that fund. So I'm thinking we spent it towards the increase in health insurance and everything else. So my question is, and maybe, maybe we don't even know this, this, this grant position for this year, it's still there, I assume. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is it going to be overspent for next calendar year? I mean, do we know? That's a great question. We you, find out. Yeah, we, we could certainly I mean, I, I find out. Yeah. That's a great because yeah. that's that's been things we've talked about all along. Is if you have a grant, I mean it's like having a household budget, because this is what we're supposed to do is a budget. You need a little right. you need to be within the Limited means, means. Yeah. of whatever it is. I'm I'm not disputing that anything wrong happened here a lot, and I understand yes. why this happened thing fully, but that doesn't mean I like it. Absolutely, I understand. All right, I'm done talking. <laughs> you need a second? I can't remember. Yeah, we do. We do need a second because I interrupted. <laughs> I, I will okay. second it because we need to continue with the community corrections for this grant and we don't need to make, we don't need to create any waves with the state over this. So I will second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 I don't understand how you can spend something that that's supposed to go back. I just if, if you get to that 8500 mark, I it ought to be just the poop. And if you want, I mean, we John and I will look into it and we'll try to come up with some answers. And even that would be great. It, we'll give you guys some answers. Because we how can't do that? that out on the farm. You've got to live within your means. I, I, I understand. I understand. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it didn't happen now. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Appreciate your time. Thank you all. Thank you. That's not spent 25 minutes on everything. We'll see. That's <laughs> me. I ask a lot of questions. <laughs> First, yeah, all right. As the big guy walks away, he's telling me, don't let it happen again. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, What's that? No, the big guy. They don't let it happen again. It's a block. Yeah, yeah. I hope you don't mind not doing that again. Not a problem, sir. That did that work for you, Tony? Now, can we step in here? Dan, or my white Uh, Dan's running late, so can we throw corner? April. I keep saying something sign on the wall. I don't know anything about it. Okay, where's she at? There we go. There. I don't know if there's really not anything she can do. Right? Yeah. It's just a transfer, right? Let's just check. Hi. How are you guys? I don't have a lot. I really don't. I just um, need to move some money if you will allow me to. Um, we have a few categories that we really just aren't spending out of at this point, which is fantastic. We really need some deputy money. Um, I've been training some new girls, so I've had to double them up. So the money's gone a little faster and we allotted for these things for next year. Um, office supplies is probably our biggest expense. Looking forward to the end of the year besides the utilities. So if I can move the money from these categories, transport to move bodies, Mileage, corner seminar, and more rental up to deputies, office supplies, and utilities. We should be good for the year. You won't have any problem with any of those other categories for us to No. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll, 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 I'll move to accept the transfer. Do I have to read all those numbers? <laughs> yes. Do I? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we are transferring uh, from account number 100 that, or, uh, 10200 10000.0007. So you that's where she wants the additional appropriation. Oh, these are the additional. So are we do do we need to do that separately? It'll, no, here it is. these are just so we're transferring yeah. from here to here, yeah. correct? Yeah. Okay, Bruce, if you just want to say the um, you know, not the number, but the accounts called, that's fine. Okay, so we want to transfer from um transported uh Bodies uh, to deputies and mileage to office supply, corner seminary to utilities, along with uh, morgue rental. And I would move to approve that. Is that, is that correct? Is that all right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and I'll, I'll second that. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I was actually more afraid of her than I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not all this. Well, you're an advisor. Thank you, April. You're welcome. Thank you. Are you talking to the sheriff? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. I, I figured you might make me. This one is a little more painful, guys. So I'm, I'm a little. Grateful that I got to go first with my corner stuff. So. <laughs> How many is there? A lot. There's five pages. Yeah, like you want um, transfers or, or extra money first? Oh, well, transfers first. Okay, transfers first. Um, in the 1000 fund, um, we are short every basically. I'll just tell you the, the gist of all my transfers were try to. Oh. Get us out of negative categories and just get us through the rest of the year. So you got three transfers and two additions. Correct. Okay. Good. Yep. So out of the um, one thousand fund, I'd like to move. Sorry about that. Um, fifteen thousand dollars from the controlling budget. Um, for a thousand dollars for computer contracts, three thousand for cell phones, uh, forty-five hundred for building maintenance, and sixty-five hundred for garbage pickup. 1500. 1500. 1500. No, where? Yeah, it says 1500. Oh, yeah. Listen, I'm sorry. I read my own writing. 1500. Or is that? It's 15,000 altogether. Yeah, that's 1500. How much is the garbage pickup? 1500. No, no, 6,500. Yeah, I was going to say that works then. Okay, that's the 15,000. Okay. See, I really grabbed there's been a lot of numbers the last couple days, guys. <laughs> What's she doing up there for five thousand dollars? Okay, so that's all for that one. We're we just going to keep going on separate. Okay. We should do this. We should okay. do them one at a time. All right. Right. To make it simple. So, so, go ahead, Alright. No. Okay. Yeah. 
you're <laughs> you're taking this money out of your petroleum uh, patrol money. Patrol money. Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry. Yeah. In the future, you know, I, I and I'm just trying to help you out. In the in the past, you you've had a problem with extra patrolmen needing more guys on the road, paying those guys. Right. It's, How bad is this going to hurt you? Um, for this year, it won't. We've already got. Um, we're down two slots, right? Now. Right. So for this year, it shouldn't at all affect us because we're down. We're down people. Um, and we've had. We've had Rachel and I have realized that we've had some issues with people like their overtime coming out of the wrong spot. So we should be okay for this year to bring okay. this to take this out. It's not something we look to do. I just didn't every want year. you to yeah. get in trouble lacking yeah. officers on the road yeah. that need right. to be on the road. Yeah. No, no, I made sure they were taken care of first. Okay. Why is the car lease so much? So I looked into, we talked about this before too. So right now we've got like $800 a month. Um, we're just in the hole for that at this point. Um, we, I called, uh, Apex, I called another one, but I didn't bring it with me and I apologize for that, but I called Apex and they actually were more expensive than where we're at right now with Republic. So, um, so we owe $6,500 for this year. So we're not, I, do you have the total with me, you with the, what we owe at this point? No, okay. No, I, 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 I believe so we're in the hole for that. It's like yeah. Actually, I might. Did we appropriate enough this year for it? The, so the, the sheriff's probably going to have um, not a rough time, but just struggles with the budget next year, too. And then they you will, yes. Yeah. And then whenever right. they budget for 2025, it'll, it'll, be, right. it'll be Mike. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it'll be all Mike. So I do have that number with, I'm sorry. The AP waste and work of those guys. It's. I don't think I don't know if they're the ones I called. I just saw their name somewhere. There was they, another one that we talked about. They cut my report. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh I'll call them. Same thing. Just saying. Just yeah. saying. So right now we are one thousand three hundred sixty-eight dollars okay. fifty-seven cents. Oh. Yeah, because the other one I know, yeah. like Hamlet uses the Michiana or something. And okay. I know it's just a thought for somebody else. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know how your contract is with with who you yeah. have now. And that was the thing, that was the difference with Republic was the size of the containers that we had, yeah. and we have them filled every time yeah. that they pick them up, and they were more expensive to do that. Did you say LAP? Where are they at? Um, they're down by Monterey area. Yeah. Okay. And then, but they, they're everywhere. Oh, they're growing and quickly. The other what, is, what, what, is, what is it fully, Dave? Michiana what? Michiana Waste. Yeah, Michiana okay. Waste. That's, I found those. That's who's done Hamlet. I mean, they're... Their okay. service. I mean, I don't know what they're right. service is for the, every house is fifteen dollars a month. Yeah. How much? Fifteen dollars a month for wow. curbside recycling and one large item every month at the end of the month. Okay. Wow. I'll give them a call. Just a thought. Yes. No, they pick it up. So they said they're recycling and this is what they're picking up. Or is it garbage? They they do both in Hamlet. No, I meant at the, oh. the oh, I don't know. jail. All our, it's garbage. It's all garbage. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you have a motion. Um, I don't know. No, I have a motion. I'll make a motion. Yeah. Anyway, it's just going to happen. Um, we take a uh, thousand from the computer uh, contract. No, you're adding. No, no. Or adding. I'm sorry. All right. Sorry. All that on. A thousand from the computer contract, uh, 3,000 to sell your phones. Uh, 4,500 building maintenance, um, garbage pickup, transferred uh, to 15,000 for the patrol. Fine. No, it's the other way around. He, he no, whatever. It was just <laughs> fine. Yeah. Not from <laughs> Tony's Tony Smith was there. You need a second. Sorry. second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Um, one, 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 four, little one. Um, I just would like to move $500 to the CAD system line from the extra help line. We're going to be fine with the extra helps for the rest of the year. Yeah, All right, I'll make a motion that we take five hundred dollars from extra help and move that five hundred dollars to CAD system in the one 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 four. Second. second. 
4919. Um, it's no secret that building maintenance is a big issue over there. So I would like to move $6,000 from our jailer line to repair and maintenance. Have you been short a jailer? Um, or is just more money was put in there than what you needed? Yeah, right now we just seem to be. I we're short full time jailers at this point. I'm not sure exactly how many. Um, but we have that's we have pretty a lot of part. Yeah. Well, we're taking out of the jailers on this transfer, but then there's going to be an additional request for part time for part time jailers. jailers. So is that a different lines. line? Yeah, different line. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I am moved. Davis is saying it has to be on the equipment file. Um, you, you ready for a motion? Or do we have it? I hear what I just said. I said, um, I said, Kermit just texted me something like it has to be on the equipment file. Does it for the sound? Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess it's oh. that was yeah. what I was So you made a motion. I do uh, to move from uh, jailers to Repair and maintenance, $6,000. Second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, now it gets ugly. So I did an initial appropriation and then I had to come back for a second after I went through everything. Um, so for the one one we everything that we're asking for is in the one 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 four jail seat it fund. Um and first time it's thirty five thousand or three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars. Um for short health insurance, overtime, garage and motor, gas, oil and lube, service contract and prisoner meals. And then after going back through all those numbers, once we got everything punched in, um part-time jailer fund was twenty five thousand short, utilities forty five thousand. And the cook is fourteen thousand, and that's an additional eighty-four thousand dollars. Four hundred and fifty-nine four hundred fifty-nine. For overtime in the garage, and for the garage part, the overtime is because we've been we've been down a couple of people, so then to fill in for them guys, we have to we have to pay overtime to the other officer to backfill those positions. We like to have, theoretically, we like to have two on days and two on nights. And to keep that up, that's that's one of the reasons why the overtime budget is so much. Uh, for the gas and motor, or for the garage and motor, that is because our fleet is old. Uh, we've got four new cars that are, that are going to be in the service. Two of them are in right now. Two of them will be in very soon. And But we have... Most of the other cars are rebuilt titles, and most of them have right around 200,000 miles on them. So they're going to break. And you know, and we're trying to fix that. But that's that's a struggle in itself, just trying to get that. We've we're, we've changed the way that we do. Um, you know, we try to get bids on on big jobs. Um, and then you know, compare it with all three of the three or four of the vendors that we use. But that's the main reason that that is so that that is so high. And then we did address that in next year's budget. Um, we I think we doubled both of those, but I'm not even sure if that would cover everything. But I'm hoping that as we get newer cars, that we have less and less. Um, you know, expenses for that. It just makes sense. Yeah, yeah it would get better mileage with the newer cars and all. I mean, it just, it's a it's a win-win. It really is. The bulk of the issue is with the health insurance, and that's kind of, un, it, it, it might understand it, that it's basically unknowable. Yes, well, yeah. it is. Yeah. We, did, we, did, we, did. Well, we won't know, um, the exactly. commissioners won't be knowing what the 2044 rates are until one of their meetings in November. So I don't even know what next year, and, but, and we already budgeted for all of it. So that could have that been the same sense. situation from last year. And it probably was the same, obviously the same situation. I think that everything that we're dealing with right now, we've, we've kind of addressed issues to prevent this in the future. 
there's some things we're going to have building maintenance. I don't know. I mean, we did try to get, but I, you know, I, we just, it's been a lot. Um, we're catching up some, you know, some old bills. Um, I mean, I, I feel like 2024 is the light at the end of the tunnel, um, but right now we're in trouble. My, so. my thought about it is mm -hmm. I understand that you're trying to fix something that's inherited. Yeah. I right. understand that fully. And my my whole thought of process is if you would have budgeted this much money, if that's what it takes to run it, fine. Yeah. Because nobody likes additional appropriations. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. We know that we're a little we bit because that's yeah, unseen. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's it's still it's still money, but just like you said, it's not unseen. Right. We know at the start of the year yeah. or the, or budget time, this is what it has to be. Yeah. So it's easier to deal with where, you where, where are we gonna get this money? Just see it. Yeah, yeah. 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 And that, you know what? I, I feel like I say I always come here and say I'm sorry and thank you, <laughs> but thank no. you because no, we're, we're, we're trying. You know, we really are trying. To, yeah, I think everybody understands that. I'm okay. not for sure. Do we need to address these separately, or can we address um, if them? You here? just want so these technically have to be formally approved next month. So if you just want to say I make a motion to approve the sheriff additional appropriations as presented. That is perfectly fine for this meeting. It's at the next meeting when you're actually going to have to. Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything we can do about it. So I, I, I think that I, I, I would move that we accept that additional appropriation. A need for the additional appropriation. I will, I will second it. Thank you guys very much. Thank All you. Very All right. Thank you. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Too late. Well, that's, that's all right. You know, since you have a motion and a second, just real quick discussion. Um. And, uh, you know, I, I mentioned this before, I think at least one of the council or more, we just need to help the sheriff's department more too. I mean, as a fiscal body, that's our job to help, you know, guide spending and budgets. And so I think if one or more of us can maybe spend more time with April and uh, Sheriff Rosa, um, we could uh, help that as well. Maybe, uh, you know, getting more eyes on things for planning and execution sometimes is a big help. And we're not the only sheriff's department in the state that's struggling with budgets and staffing and things like that, but it certainly helps when, you know, when a team puts an effort on something rather than just relying on one or two people to do it. So I just say in the future, maybe we could start getting together and commit a couple of people to spend more time with the sheriff's department on a more regular basis. We would welcome that. Too, dude. Not, not trying to micromanage. <laughs> I call Rachel all the time. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, no. <clears throat> no. Well, can we just address the autopsy money while she's still here? Um, autopsies have gone up tremendously this past year or so. I would like to pay the remaining of the year of autopsies out of ARCRA. I can't tell you how many that will be right now. I, I think I have three that I want to put in there. Um, but in total of December, I don't know how much how much that will be. I don't have a problem. So, so how, how much money? How, how much right now two thousand pop. Three thousand pop. I got three right now. Yeah. Um, I've got, three we've only got seven hundred dollars left in the autopsy budget and three of which we made for next year. We already know this for next year. We've already budgeted. Well, and we could go over next year too. Like in my experience, all these years on the council, those are hard to predict. Yeah. Uh, really, autopsy. So, like, this isn't uncommon to have to fund more autopsy. So, even if we're short next year, that's not an uncommon thing. So, and obviously, it does make sense to come out of ARPA. But I mean, you know, like, you don't want to put three hundred thousand dollars in autopsies. You might only have one death in one year. You can't predict that. Or yeah. the next year, you might have thirty. It's you know, it's up, it's up and down. Right now, just your permission for me to pay from ARPA is fine. And then we can do the amounts later. I, when we I move that we pay the autopsy debt out of ARPA money. Okay. Thank you. To answer your question, they went up from about $1,900 to $3,000. Um, there are some cheaper doctors, but it creates a whole other line of problems. We have one vehicle, we'd have to travel, you know, out of county. Um, the doctor that we're using currently does preliminaries and everything right that same day. So when we're working a lot of like the overdose cases and stuff, it gives our detectives and everybody the option to run with it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Second, so. We have a second. 
I'll second Vote. Aye. 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 So she's just taking a fifteen hundred from the second clerk. I move that we take this fifteen hundred dollars from the second clerk and move it to the office supplies for the prosecutor. Okay. Second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Superintendent Williams. Here, I got one right here. My image is out. I have two of the same sheet. I might have took it from you. Yeah, you have two or three. I only got two. Yeah, I have four. I have four players with another. We can start out with the uh, the transfers, Social Security would like to transfer $1,900 from equipment into Social Security. I believe that was due to um, our part time help. This year, we were allotted $10,000 or over $30,000. Um, I kind of knew a year into this. So when I took over in January, the budget was already made and I was just had to try to follow that budget. Now we have had a budget meeting and we've moved a lot of different things around. Um, money out of equipment into, you know, so that we can justify the part and help and different things like that. Um, the second one, I would like to move equipment into health insurance, 21,150. Is that, I'm not sure if that's due to an increase. Probably. Health insurance increase. And then the big one is the part time help. All of these, um, I've tried to grab money out of all of these different funds to cover the part time help, which I did. $1,200 from office supply, $3,500 from gas, oil, and blue, $2,000 from utilities, $740 from stone and gravel, $530 from postage, $414 from mileage. $7,838 from equipment. Um, $7,838. So you're transferring almost $12,000 out of equipment. Yes. Between the three. So you're not going to purchase equipment that you had? Well, not this year. We, there's no way we can because my next question is we're not going to make it through the budget with what money we have. <clears throat> um, one of the main reasons I believe is um, when we had to spend at the beginning of the year, when we had to get a brand new sewer lift station that basically cost us $30,000. Um, it was for, I think you, did you give them that paperwork? No. Okay. Um, I have the bills and stuff on that. Um, which is, you know, it's a county asset, and that had to come that thirty thousand dollars had to come out of our budget, which wasn't in the plan. Um, another thing that we spent was to get this grant moving that you are going to match the funds for twenty seven thousand six hundred dollars. That was in the plan, but it was it had to be done at the beginning of the year before you, we came to the meeting for the match for the grant, all of that had to be turned in, like I don't remember if it was March or April before we came for that. So those two um, huge expenses are why we're in trouble. One other, I, I don't even think it is kind of relevant. We had not planned to run into the peer issue that we did with the permits. 
So we were down about $40,000 in income with that that we should have made. But due to the permits being um, delayed and all of that, we uh, only had like a half a season. So we weren't able to charge for that. So that is something that will be absolutely be different next year um, because the permits are good for next year. So we will have that income for that. Um, but the $30,000, we were advised to, at the beginning of the year, go ahead and pay that. And if it came towards the end of the year that we needed help, that there would be help available. And that's why I'm here. Well, I don't see an additional appropriation for anything, though. There is no additional appropriation for anything because the transfers will clear up her negatives in her fund. Okay. And then if you would possibly cover the lift station out of something other than her own fund, like out of CEDA. It's already been paid. Though. It's already been paid, but I can move the claims from her fund to CEDA, and then that would give her a cash balance for at least carry forward until they started taking in revenue again. Right. The other thing too, though, was the grant application. We spent a significant amount of money on that. So if you can help fund part of that. We'd well, like to do it. Yeah. Uh, why don't we just uh, approve these if, if, if you guys want to do it, and then we can look at it again in November before we start you can do uh, worrying about the lift station and other things. Yeah, you can do that too. Rachel, well, the, the, the one question I do have, um, you said you were allowed ten thousand dollars for part-time wages. That and it went to you know basically two and a half times over. Yeah. So I mean, how do we? How, um, how many people do you get employed out there that work? Um, three to four. Three to four. And and they typically work in the beach area. Both well, campground both. and beach. And what months are you guys actually open? Um, well, our lease is April first to October thirty first. Okay. Um, we do have to start, you know, prepping, you know, the middle of March, soon as weather, you know, um, and then now it's time for leaves. You know, we have to do all of that. Um, I I no longer have any part time help. I was told I can't pay any more part time help. For the end of the year so i mean what gets done gets done i i can't okay. you know i can't and what what months of the beach the beach actually open like part we have some we open there. like labor day or memorial day to basically labor day weather permitting it could be a couple so three months couple sure. months longer or weeks a couple weeks longer um i mean both sides you know there's mowing at least once a week twice a week from march until you know, the end of October. Like I said, this budget that I walked into, I didn't make it. So I just kind of tried to work with what I had. It was already there when I took the job. Okay. Was last year, did you have to do the same thing? I wasn't there last year. So then, no, I shouldn't say that. Towards the, end. the budget was already there. No, we did not. We had a carryover last year, correct? I don't remember. And you guys, because they're all part-time positions, so there's like no overtime, not like that. No. Just you. So there, there's, there's there's nobody working there during the week in the summer, except for what, the weekend and one day during the week, or no? At the gate? Or is there somebody there every That's day? just the gate. Yeah. That's not all the mowing and No, no, but I'm saying there is, there is somebody there all during the day, every day of the week. We may change that next year, because after looking at... Yeah, but, it's, but it wasn't that way last year, or the, this, this, last, this year? It was that way? So yes. Every day there was somebody there at yes. the gate. Last year, except Wednesday. Wednesday. Right. Except Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. Except Wednesday. Okay. I knew there was day. one day. Okay. Yeah. All right. Except I knew Wednesday. there was one the way it went. And we looked at that at our meeting that, you know, we found that Mondays and Tuesdays aren't really money feasible to do that. So that is up in the air. Well, I mean, I think that's something that really, that we as the council should know, you know, what's going on. What's going that. on, yeah. So if you're, if you're collecting hundred dollars on a Monday and we're paying somebody right. 125 dollars that does not make zero we cannot right. make sense to yeah. do it yeah we didn't know that was going right to happen, but... I mean how how would you know yeah now I now mean, we kind of have an idea I mean, if the, if what the weather was the need people more. yeah I mean, it was 90 degrees well, yeah, we had you, know, people there. You, know that. Was, yeah. you have to make very nice you have to make that decision you take some good, uh, it's, in some ways though it's kind of like trying to predict the weather it right? is so it's, yeah but you kind of take an average yeah I'm, I'm just trying to look out for the 
for the money, obviously. Exactly. Well, that's that's all I say because it's not like you just doubled. I mean, you went, you know, I mean, you, we made a lot of game this wrestling. year, you know, but there are a couple of days that I don't think it's feasible. Yeah. I don't want to pay somebody more than we're taking in, and right. it seems like there's a couple of days I think, that that is true. I think us as the council, myself in particular, I would like to see the whole spreadsheet. And I think I do of what's taken in every day. I have all that. And then, I mean, we're not going to, I'm not going to micromanage how to do it. I mean, right. you guys can do that yourself. You know, I'm no, just, we keep saying that, but it, there is definitely in our county for, for people to start watching over some stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff. Start, giving that's why I want money to away, it. it seems like anymore, yeah. just like yeah. for every department, just, you know, what right. it's, it just doesn't make sense. It's, it's, well, I just, the new council, we got to, I get it. I just feel that that $30,000 for that store lip station for a county asset is what really threw us for a loop in the hole. Yeah. Well, in that you all know. said, again, the only reason I'm bringing it like this up, and like even the funds you're moving, it seems you're at the end of the year and you're to remove this fairly easy to right. and I'm not I'm not what I'm just what I'm trying to explain to you is it seems to me that whether that money was there or not we still went way over on, on your part-time understood regardless and next and year the budget yeah, yeah. yeah. and that's yeah. like I said before all that if all these 4927 accounts were this much less right next year Right. Yeah, part time help was twice as much. We added a lot to their you know? part time yes, help. Yes, we did. Yeah. Yeah. And my That's hope was we, that we would be looking at some of the uh, youth of Stark County like it used to be back in the day when the state had it. They would. Right. That's what I would hope to do. But yep. What about. I, I realize that right. we could see the spreadsheet, but uh, is the campground profitable? No. Well, that, that's part of the issue. I think the receipts, that's, that's why I'm going. The out. receipts that we're taking in barely cover the daily expenses, and that's between the leases and then the fair stuff. And that's where the lift station went, and, correct? And we did discuss it at our. Well, it works for both sides. We did discuss it for both sides, but we did discuss it at our last meeting a potential significant increase in rates for next year. Um, that is still being discussed, discussed by two board members of the park board. And some you don't want to hear what I think, but, well, well, but I'm just saying, so hopefully we'll have a decision on that. I think that'd be a beautiful place for a motel. You know, I do, I do fully understand why you guys want to raise the rates that much because yeah, just you have to. I mean, well, well like a, the one thing about there, that campground, you know, what we could pay for it, every one of those permits should have meters because those people come yeah. on Sundays, they can turn the air at 60 yeah. and they don't. Well, that's part of the reason for what yeah. you consider as a rate increase. Yeah, I agree. No, I agree. And, and, and this is the first year that we're being totally funded out of receipt. And that's why we have on the lease. I've been to, been to a few of you guys' meetings, meetings, and it's always the it's always the occupants out at the at the campground that come to the meetings. It's it's not your not your Stark County taxpayer per se that comes there might be a few but most of those are i didn't know anybody in the last year no I, they're, 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 I mean i'm very yeah and and so you know and i understand they, they, they do have an interest but we have to pay for them okay yes okay. you have to read all these or you have to read all these you do have to read the okay. like equipment 78 38 yeah, you, you read, read the title and the amount. There's three of them, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Can we make one motion for all of them? Yes. All right. Okay. I'd like to make a motion that we move 7838 from equipment, 414 from mileage, 530 from postage, $740 stone and gravel, $2,000 utilities, $3,500 gas, oil, and lube. $1,200 office supply for a grand total of sixteen two 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 to part-time help. And also, I would like to make a motion that we move $2,150 from equipment to health insurance for a total of $2,150. And I would also make, make a motion that we, we move, move $1,900 from equipment to Social Security Nineteen hundred dollars for a total of nineteen hundred dollars, and I don't know what the total is, but that's my motion. You have a second. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And I'd like to make another motion too. I'd like to make make a motion that we table your request for the lift station until further investigation is done, and then 
we'll go from there. Sure. That way you're not getting a definite no today. Well, and the, and the request was for the station and maybe part of yeah. that grant application. I feel like I'm going to push it, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, okay. I'll second that. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 I think that's what they yeah. said yeah. that we can do. I think that's good. I would like to take. I would like to take a uh, look at the old the old beach house and see well, see yeah, what's going on there. I I, I know how it's like not work. We're still uh, waiting for the grant approval on that, and the application says I, September October. So I don't know if that means I'm not the biggest fan of the oh, campground, but that beach yeah, uh, that like, that'd be a real asset. Would that come out of yeah. being I think. Or if, if we did pay for the for the equipment, either, either way, I, right? I would think see it only because it has a lot of development. Okay, he can move. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Let's keep moving. Okay. So, so what? I, so what? I, so what I would do? I guess we should look at what their ledger is, where they're sitting at by next month, and maybe they would request the additional appropriation for the twenty, whatever it is, twenty seven eight ninety one. For the lift station, I got here because I kept my papers from the meeting <laughs> right here. Yeah, 29851. Right. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Can I make a comment too? Go ahead. For me. I think that the I think that the park board needs to keep in mind that you're you're not making any money right now. The council's not going to keep funding you. Raise your lease amount. Yeah, well, we're, we're that, that was at our last meeting. Table just to do a little further evaluation. So, but we believe there will be a yeah. significant increase. So it has to be. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. So it has to be. Because I'm just saying, you know, if you guys can't start paying for yourself, then the council is not going to. We keep presented an amount, and now they're going to have this committee meeting with the campers to talk about it. You know, something else that that I I have wondered about is there's no place to buy. I Boat petroleum product at the lake. Now, somebody said that, that the marina might reopen, but I think of everybody that's hauling gasoline in their cars or their trucks to their boats. That you know, maybe that's something that that we could look into. Also, I know other uh, other start uh, other cooperatives. At one time, uh, Culver they had a uh, cooperative had a, a pump and stuff there, but. Well, I tell you what, I I just think for the liability of the people that are on that lake, half of the haul gas in their pickups or or cars, that isn't that what they're doing? Well, I mean that's the only way they're going to uh, fill it on the trailer. They're walking it out their pier and yeah. pulling so, it out the lake with five gallon jugs. Yeah, yeah, but that's something that I would think that you, as the park board, might might entertain. I'm surprised we would if we had. Horrible. I think we might look at it if we actually had the funds to be. Able well, to you know what? Like that. that that to me would be a a, a good leverage. In my opinion. If you could get a permit from I know. Yeah, yeah that's a pretty common. MDNR. MDNR. Yeah, food for thought. I I and I think of all of those people that are falling down. Dan, we need an honor box up. Yeah. We made like 200 and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I have to leave at six. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got another job to go to. No. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, just, all right. Um, you're here until we're done. Right? I have three sheets that I need to do uh, transfers to. Um, you want to start with the highest amount or the smallest? Your choice. Well, it doesn't matter. They're all coming out of the same fund. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. What does that do to our bituminous uh, fund? I mean, that it's $221,315 that you're taking away from that. That's for road construction, correct? Yes. So, so are all the bills, all the bills that are due, are they going to be paid this year or are we going to use next year's money to pay the bills from this year? We're going to have to use some of next year's funds. How much? Right now, I think it's around 100000 Why? Why is that? Well, are you asking why they've gotten a hold? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, obviously, because we shouldn't be paying for, we shouldn't be paying for this year's money with next year's money. Yeah, this year's expenses. I mean, there's no way, there's no way Robin that should happen either. Once again, it goes back to living within your means. Because county kind of government is not endless bottom of the pit. Okay. Um, there are several things that's happened. And I'll start with the uh, first one, uh, truck repair. Okay. Um, starting the first of the year, we had 16 and 17 employees, uh, full-time drivers. So um, that's the first time I've been here now two and a half years. That's the first time we've been fully staffed. Okay, so that meant we need we needed an additional five trucks on the road for the additional drivers. So um, we have a lot of trucks, uh, or had a lot of trucks that were just sitting there waiting to be fixed. So we took the initiative and went ahead and got these trucks back on the road, and we got them up to not quite DOT standard. So that's been the heavy hitter is uh, truck repair is the age of our truck fleet, which we have new trucks coming, um, which will help. Um, but I mean, the average age of our uh, bump trucks are 12 years old. How much, how much do you normally budget for truck repair and stuff like that? On a, a hundred and twenty-five thousand is what's budgeted. Is your, now we, your, I believe, we increased it for this next year. So we almost doubled it this year, with only adding four or five trucks to the fleet. Well, there was more than that that was bad, Todd. No, but I'm saying you just said I'm just I'm just going by what you said about the drivers, and you had that many more trucks. So if you had 16, 17 drivers. And you were short four or five, that would be 12. So that would be five trucks. And you had 12 trucks on the road. You added five trucks and the truck repair doubled. Well, you got to figure that the price of parts and labor has increased. On well, I understand trucks. that. But okay, that, but that's a big part of it. Okay. What about like the, uh, the uh, repair of the road equipment? What do you typically budget for that? Do you know that off? I believe that is I'm gonna say like sixty thousand. Sixty thousand. And that that's different than obviously trucks. So that's gonna be your your asphalt machines, tractors, things like that, doing some maintenance and repair on correct type of equipment and stuff like that. Just alone, um well, back in the truck repair, we put like 17,000 into our bucket truck to get it updated. It's never been certified. Okay. So we got the bucket truck certified and they it's had never to... been certified? Never has been. We're running on trucks that have never been certified. Trucks that don't pass DOT inspection? Do you guys, yeah, you DOT trucks, right? You guys do, right? We don't have DOT stickers. No, but I mean, you still do. You still do pre-trip, post-trip. I mean, you have your employees do pre-trip, post-trip. Oh, yeah. This just is, you know, follow DOT yeah. regulations. We do. We started doing DOT inspections. So we, we have it on five. We know the state of the charts. I don't know. Um, and then, so the office supplies are 21, 16. Why don't they ask? That's 
My budget for office supplies is a thousand dollars. Yeah, I don't know what all you guys do, but for me, I got a copy here and a printer in my shop. But I hear you. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm just curious. Um, and then the, the part time, the fourteen thousand went around that. What does that typically buy for? Okay. Thirty-four, thirty-four thousand. Right? I think it's thirty-five. Yeah. Okay. We had oh, there's more, this, yeah. again this year is the first time that we had full part-time help. I had five mowers going plus a part-time semi-driver. Well, I mean, I will say this. I mean, um, I mean, it's no secret. I mean, we, like we tell everybody else here, we got to get some stuff, more things done. We've got to make sure things are going to take care of. Um, I do know that I have had some complaints about, you know, the, the grass stuff on the side of the roads, which sad me because, like you just said, but the first time we had a, a part-time crew out there doing this. And, you know, we just got to make sure that everybody's watching their budgets. They've got to be, you know, watching their guys, making sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, and things like that. Because, I mean, I feel like this... Uh, this oil you're going to be pulling from is going to really hurt you next year. I think. I'm just going to make sure you're doing better. Everybody, the whole kind. And again, you just heard me say it before you ever walked up here. It's with council. We see a lot of department heads are just they're struggling, and a lot of things, a lot of waste, and things that's not being done correctly. And we need to be, you know, I don't know if we need to, you know, I know you're supposed to, you know, report to, to Charlie or whoever. I'd assume. Yes. Um, I don't know if it's something, you know, where somebody counsels, you know, yeah. come out there and help well, I me. Got, I got an idea how to, how to stop all this. It's like Charlie Daniels. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make a motion at some point in time here. I want you to think about it. I'm going to make a motion that the county highway cannot spend any more than $25,000 until they come to, we will appropriate all the money, but we are not going to improve any spending. Over twenty five thousand dollars in 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 a budget line. In, in, a, budget in, a, county, line. in a, yeah, a budget yeah, line. So come to us for anything over because because this this is not going to happen again. Well, here here's the thing too: one hundred eight thousand for the truck repair, thirty four thousand dollars for road equipment repair. That that might very well had to be done, but you surely have a running total on how much money you're spending. And then to be $150,000 over, I'm not saying you didn't need to do the repairs, but you needed to come in and get it approved before it was done. We, a couple of things um, that we ran into this year that we really haven't ran into in the past is, and again, I've only been there going on two and a half years. We've never been fully staffed. So at the end of every year, there was a ton of money sitting there in labor that we could transfer over. So we definitely have some holes in our budget that we need to look at and make sure that we had the correct amount budgeted for. So well, you need to look at the balance of your accounts every month before you spend money. Weekly. Well, yeah, Weekly. because because this is this is insane. So did you see this that they were overspending? And Dan, do you, you knew you were overspending? I, I knew in March that truck repair, we'd already gone through 60% of our budget in March. Okay, that was March. Repair. This is October. You should have come to us in April. That's yeah, just my that's, opinion. That's, that's seven months. That's I, I, I'm not even so sure $25,000 is, is too much. I, I have a suggestion um, that we would like to do is maybe once a month have one commissioner and three councilmen come into the highway department and have a meeting and we can discuss the activities that are going on. That's a good suggestion. I, I would suggest we go with what Todd said and the whole council sees what's going on. I think all everybody at this point needs yeah, to be involved. Yeah, no, I agree. No, yeah. I, I get it. But I'm saying it, I think it's and I don't think talking. anybody would have denied this had we had we seen it come. No. I, 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 I just don't understand. That's 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 my that's my whole point about all of this. If you know what's going to happen, it's inevitable. We have a responsibility to yeah, maintain I, faith in stuff. But come here six older. months later and want hundred and sixty thousand dollars and throw us all off guard. I mean, 
and to say you knew about it since March. I mean, well, here's the other thing too, guys, is one of the things we discussed at AIE, AIC was a theme across the board was everybody's short. And what the senior people said and what the leadership said that was there to teach us said, said was they didn't say just spend it and then but don't worry, the council will fund it. They said, do not spend it, cut, cut somewhere else. Like, you know, it's back to that theme in the state. And I'm telling you, like we have a surplus in the state, but all this discussion at this meeting about cut, 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 that surplus, they're probably starting to see that that surplus isn't gonna last forever. And that's the other thing. And we need to encourage all departments in this, in this way, not just the highway department, but if they start out and 60% of, of a budget line is, is uh, already spent in the beginning part of the year, then you cut somewhere else or you make a concession or you, or you approach the council, but you know, you get a plan in place. But the other thing is like, we're getting too used to the thing of, Oh, we've got plenty of money. So, you know, like, like you need to spend that money. Well, not always. Um, you know, the other idea about running a budget is you cut somewhere else. And so that's the other thing too. And maybe if we do meet with Dan once a month before the council meeting, if, you know, whoever's willing to do it, I'd be willing to do it. But that would be the other thing you guy too, not just take not, a quarter of a million hand. dollars out of bituminous. A, 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 the, the roads in Stark County are being shorted. They just are. What was the total bituminous budget? Explain. I want to say it was five or I think it was 600,000. It might be 550. It was 550. 550. So, so we took almost 50% of the bituminous to pay for shortfalls and other stuff. And like and I'll defend that. That was kind of me saying that by two minutes made sense. So we can, so we can fix the income. See, see, first of all, as kind of government, we need to pay our bills. If we start holding bills back for 69 days, yeah. I mean, somebody could pull the string and say, you guys are done. No more credit. You, you want to pay the bills? I just need someone else to pay them because there's no money in MDH paying. Well, I don't know how we're going to pay them. Going to have to do it this way and suffer the consequences, I guess. Well, if you make that motion, Tom, uh, on the expenditure, I will. I will second it. I have no problem there. But I have a problem that we're going to take. You're saying too. almost fifty percent of our bituminous. Uh, that just isn't right. That, that's just people. Stark County needs better now. We doubled our road work this year compared to the last year. Last year we did 37 miles of road work. This year we did over 68 miles. Is that, is that count the community crossing grant? Yes. And both, okay, so that doesn't count. Cases. So that doesn't count for the full amount of miles because 80% of it was a grant, right? Yes. Okay, so that doesn't count for the full mile incentive. So that's not really quite a true statement. <clears throat> So I don't know what to do. Well, we're gonna have to. But the only problem is, I'm not so sure twenty five thousand dollars isn't too much. So well, I know how expensive an engine is, and yeah, I how it expensive too. a transmission is. And matter of fact, when we when we were running out there, we had stock motors sitting there ready to go in. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. listen, we go twenty five thousand, and we you know commissioner and council vote and meets once a month. Surely, but you, you, got, you guys already got twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah, right. They do. The commissioners do. So when were the commissioners aware of this? Back in March or April, or did they just find out too that? You found out in March that they were going to be this short. Said pretty much now. Well, just now. Now he did. I talked to Charlie about it in the past. How often, did that, Charlie, how often does Charlie come by? I was curious. How often does he come by your, your office over there? Checking on anything? Once a month. The in the water with you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gone. It was days ago. I don't feel good making the motion to transfer. I'll, I'll, I'll second. I'll second Todd's motion. I'm not making motion to transfer. Not to transfer. I'm not. Okay. Nope, I'm not going to be. Uh, I will not make the motion. Everybody's looking at me. Howard, you look like you want to make it. Well, I'm trying to figure out. I'm taking the advice of people who know more about the highway than I do. So I, I'm taking Todd's advice. I, I mean, we cut the bitumen in the shore. We're, we're, 
Clark County taxpayers are suffering with their roads. I'm trying to, I'm trying to sit here and think of other different solutions. When we were first talking about things, and I'm not trying to be here and spank anybody, but I understand we were short four or five drivers, truck drivers, and there was four or five trucks setting not being driven. Obviously, somebody didn't know that the trucks needed that much repair, right? I mean, when when you put these drivers in the trucks and put them out on the road, they needed a lot of re lot of work that somebody wasn't aware they needed. Correct. Right. Yeah. Well, to Howard's point too, we might want to review some of our policies too. Didn't we have a truck the other day that was wrecked that we didn't even know, nobody's even owning up to wrecking it? Are you talking about the broken dash in 14? What are you referring to, Dave? What wasn't there one that got some kind of damage and they never even told you nobody told you they did it or you know we didn't even know who did it, right? I think it's talking about 14. Or how it happened. It was a that if you're referring to truck 14, it was a dash on a steering truck that was all cracked up and it fell apart. I mean, I, I guess I guess what I'm saying is when I started and, and our fleet's way better than when I first started on the council. I mean, we had we used to make floorboards out of stop signs and stuff like that. I mean, <laughs> they're, they're driving Cadillacs now compared to what was going on then. So um, but what I will say is it doesn't hurt to review a staff about taking care of county equipment, too. I'm just I'm just saying I'm not accusing anybody or throwing any darts or arrows. I'm just saying part of this, too, from time to time, we need to go just like the sheriff's department, too. We need to go through with everybody about um, taking care of county property. But since I have the mic right now, um, if the council is worried about the bituminous, bituminous is one of those where it's like selling futures, though, too. And um, and, and Todd, I, you can disagree with me because you you're the expert on this. But I I don't know if right now if we if we if that's that's big of that big of a risk because we have quite a bit of bituminous accumulated there in the funds. But if that worries you. Uh, based on your experience as a previous director, then this would honestly be another one that would qualify for taking some or all of the money from ARPA. I, I totally disagree with taking anything from ARPA for this. 100%. Well, I mean, it's got to come from somewhere. And, and, and some of this is kind of related. A, a lot of county stuff is being taken, or county highway stuff is being taken from ARPA because funding is down. You know, there's other things, but I mean, if we don't take it from bituminous, then where would we take it? Well, we're going to have to take it from bituminous. Yeah, but this, the, being a hundred thousand short for spent, next year, yeah, this, right this yeah, yeah, that's spent. what bothers yeah. This money's already spent, so we could just deny all the claims, and then somebody can figure out where they're going to get. Well, to. you're right. You're right, Todd. We can do that, and they did tell us that. Mike, um, the advisor for um, council, Tony, met him first, and then introduced him to me. I don't agree with that either. He did say that, um, but um, on on the other token, then maybe the hundred thousand comes from our, our but later, not now, but um, and we straighten everything, you know, from bituminous. I, I don't know, like I, we have to do something to get everything back on track. Well, we don't have any choice since this money was already spent. We have to honor our bills, whether we like it or not. It'd be responsible. But you, did, but you did give a remedy on how to how to work with this, and that is. You know, again, I, I even mentioned before, maybe the commissioner, since they meet every two weeks, because it's hard to meet every month. But you know what? That's what happens sometimes if things get off the rails. You have to make adjustments then to get them corrected. And, and the council really is the is the fiscal responsibility. So, again, and go back to your original discussion of, you know, making this a routine thing. I, I don't, I'm not saying it would last forever either. I mean, we could obviously, you know, go back. You know, once things get dialed in, but I think there needs to be more involvement and more oversight from the council. If you know, we're talking big, big numbers here. Oversight um, comes in. We we should be advised before they're 140 or 150. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm ready to make a motion. I'm not making a motion on the fact that somebody else can make it. I'm not going to deny it. The motion I'm going to make. This doesn't mean this can't be changed at some point in time. I'm going to make a motion now that the county highway cannot spend in excess of ten thousand dollars without coming to the county high to the county council first. Um, the thing about ten thousand dollars is I mean they gotta wait a month coming here I, I get where we're at. I understand. 
But I mean, somebody with, I mean, truck, I mean, just a, a truck is an SUV. I mean, anything. I mean, great motors, 20,000. I, I, I think 20,000 should be a number. I mean, the only reason I say that is you're going to have to wait a month for any kind of. That's my motion. You can, we can just. I'll, okay. I'll, I will resend the motion. Ooh, ooh. I'll resend it. You really need that motion for this year because the NPH is negative. It's it's going to be yes, negative for eight. Years. Years. So that motion for the rest of this year is perfect. Because, yes, because MBH, we are negative up like $96,000. If I don't have that as a zero balance by the end of the year, I'll, I'll, I'll second the motion. I'm, I'm going to go back to my original motion. If we can change it next year, but I make the motion now that the county highway cannot spend in excess of $10,000 without coming to the county council for approval. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Can you also approve Aye. Transfer, Aye. Can we approve this transfer? Yes. Okay. That doesn't include payroll, though, right? No, that, that's, 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 okay. that's a line item that do with maintenance and highway. Yes. Okay. Do you have crate engines out there on the, on the shelf? No. <laughs> we used to have two, two or three mm -hmm. <laughs> all the time. That's um, what we're Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Make motion to take one hundred ninety-eight thousand sixty-nine dollars seventy-six cents in the bituminous for road repair thirty-four thousand three twenty-four seventy-seven truck repair one hundred eight thousand two seventy-five and two liability fifty-five thousand four sixty-nine sixty-seven. You want me to put the size in there too? In my minutes, I'm going to put a size. Size. Listen. <laughs> yes. Uh, additional $13,245.76 in bituminous um, for the other material of 7132, road sign 1142.90, brush crew 370.26, overtime 1661.28. An additional $17,197.77. Office supplies of 21-16-83, printing 170-20, safety supplies 253-60, part time 14,121-43, and overtime of 535.71. That's my motion. We have a second. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Uh, it's got to be paid. I was going to say it's got to be paid. It's got to be paid. Reluctant. If we don't pay, we're going to run. We don't want to run into credit problems with the county. Aye. I'm opposed. Okay. No, no, I know. We got it. I know. I know. I'm waiting until you guys all voted just to make the statement. All right. Hey, Kay. Actually, it started in August. Kay, can you hear me? Yes. Um, while we're on uh, the subject of budgets, though, and spending, can I make one other suggestion? Okay. It seems like we've become terrible at managing budgets when it comes to grant dollars. I'd like to make a recommendation that the council um, put everybody on notice that we want to construct a grant calendar that has the debt and the person that gets a grant from here on out is going to have to put this on the calendar when it pays in, when it pays out, all their critical dates. Balance. And I think we need to put them on notice and say, we are not gonna bail you out anymore. If you accept a grant and you manage it poorly, it's gonna come out of your own pocket or or however the law allows. But I mean, we, we've gotta get better at, at grants management. And honestly, the departments that receive the grants need to be responsible and manage them appropriately. Sorry, I don't mean to be a jerk, but okay. who's, who's oh, great, 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 who's going to manage this great calendar? Yes, Rachel. Um, uh, you know what, Rachel? Let me sit down with you. I got some ideas about it already. Okay. I've, I've already kind of started sketching. Rachel's already about. maxed out right now. Well, who should no, be I, I'm the, willing. I'm willing to work on it, but I'd like to. I'd like to meet with you about it, and and then the, I'll, the I'll meet with the council first. The receiver of the grant funding. Should be responsible. Should be responsible for managing their own, their own grants, and, and, and if they exceed. It's not a problem. Did you put a percentage? Say when you reach seventy-five percent of your expenditures, 
then then somebody it needs to be brought to somebody's attention. Would, would that be possible? We can we can look at it and see what we can do. Yep. We can't sit there and babysit a grant when the grant money is done. Then we're then we're done. Okay, can we do board reports? Do you have any board reports? I do. Um, so I I did see a little bit of improvement out of the skill uh, for this month. They are trying to move forward with a adult diesel school, the uh, the uh, this high school diesel school has been put off, but I do see them making some strides there. So that's an uptick from before. How about the truck driving? The CDL that that's they don't even. They don't even want to talk about it. And even after you give them a leg read, I I know I, I, they don't they don't care. But here's the thing, guys. Uh, I feel kind of stupid because I I was really in favor of seeing them get that money ahead of time, and they've just they've just stuck their finger in our eye and said, you know what, we're not. You can't. Well, that's why it. I was like. Yeah. But I will tell you this. No, I won't tell you because it's supposed. It's okay. <laughs> Planning Commission is going smooth. We're under the good leadership of Justin. We're going after people that aren't cleaning up their messes. Um, he's going through the proper legal recourse of, of get, making these people come to the table and pay. Um, I believe the Kishman commissioners are, are going to hopefully pass a, a RV ordinance that we that we put on the table. That, that they should did this be, morning. Okay, that's done, which means uh, we're going to do our best to keep people from living in camper trailers throughout the county. Um, again, Justin is going after these people in, in a legal manner and making them come to the table and, and pay their bills or pay their fines and clean their properties up. I think in the last uh, couple of years, I think the Planning Commission has has made vast, vast improvements. Okay, Todd. Um, I went to the manufacturer's um, day at the high school for economic development. Um, the turnout with the kids, but manufacturers not so much. And two renege like the night before to show up. So um yeah, it was other than that. That's all I had to report from uh, I actually I I was supposed to go to my Marshall Star um, meeting, but I went to AIC in hopes of becoming a better councilman. So I have nothing to report on that. So. Which was really good talk. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next, yeah, crew vacation payout request. So the um person that was in the grant funded social worker position at the jail left because the grant ended and grants and we should think about this for future grant funded positions. The grant does not pay out accrued vacations that were required to. So I'd like to take four hundred one thousand four hundred ninety. Oh my gosh, one thousand four hundred dollars and ninety five cents out of county general to pay her for vacation. Once again, she was in charge of her grant. Yes, and it ended, and just the, no grant. She ended her. with it being short. Yes. Is the grant renewed at all, or the grant? The grant done? is renewed. Um, we're looking for a licensed social worker. Okay. Yep. Why did they hire her without the credentials? I don't know the answer. Okay. What happens if we don't pay it? Well, I, we have to pay out recruit vacation. I mean, that that we have to do that. Okay. This is the minimum, guys. She was asking for a lot more than this. This is what we can. Yeah. This is what we're liable for. I look yes, deeply into this. this. Yeah, it, it's a real thing. Okay. I make a motion that are you asking where we should take take the funds I, from? I would like to pay for it from county general or take. from our no appropriation fund. I make the motion that we take the money out of county general and pay the vacate vacation funds to the recipient okay. of the grant. Yep, that's perfect. And the total did you need the total? One thousand four hundred and ninety. One thousand yeah. four hundred and what? <laughs> One thousand four hundred dollars and ninety-five cents. One thousand four hundred and ninety. Five dollars <laughs> and ninety-five cents. <laughs> One thousand four hundred and ninety-five cents. I'll take that. Okay. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. It's not hard to say aye. 
I just so, want to review what I'm going to be turning in for an additional appropriation for next month. Okay. I'm going to okay. Just need it. I'm turning in for one for four. Uh, four five nine comma zero zero zero. That's what I'm turning. Yep. Hume cap twenty five thousand. That was for the ambience. Uh, Cisco one hundred seventy five thousand to Hamlin. ARPA. You guys, I gave you guys the spreadsheet. To this year, you spent three hundred ten thousand dollars. That's what I'm turning in for additional appropriations. Seed it twenty five thousand dollars to free trial community directors. Opioid restricted funds, $59,500 for flock cameras. That is all the additional appropriations that you will see in the paper within the next few weeks. So if you get calls, that's why. Yeah. Is that it? Ooh, I don't know. So, call, call Somebody Rachel make Rachel. a motion to adjourn. I'll move for that too. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. I'll second it. Okay. So what are we supposed to say to Paul Rachel? Say Paul Hi. 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 Thank you. Some of the public has asked me to comment.